Hi guys, so Darius and Kiki been trending on Twitter over some drama due to what she was wearing, due to what Darius said to Kiki, and he's been getting dragged. And guys, I do think she did embarrass him, but not because of what she was wearing. Keep watching, we're gonna get into that. I'm gonna give you my perspective on it, okay? For you guys who've been living under a rock, our little Kiki, you know, she's all grown up. She's got a baby, she's in a relationship. You know, she's living life. Recently, she's really been embracing her mama body. <laughs> It's really good to see her confidence in her body and embracing it. Asha's been having performances down in Vegas, right? And Kiki went with her friends and she was wearing this beautiful outfit. It looked like a see-through body slash dress with a swimsuit underneath. It looked good. I don't know how to describe it, but it looked really good. It looked really beautiful on her. And, you know, showing some of her cheeks at the back, okay? Well, Darius decided to go public and shame her. He said, it's the outfit though. You a mom. Damn, just like that. To say it, I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. I mean, he could be walking down the street. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know a thing. Sorry to this man. He couldn't text her. He couldn't got one of her assistants to tell her that. She just, he just had to put it out there like that. Homeboy was definitely in his feelings and definitely emotional because he reacted so quick to it and he quickly got dragged too. People were dragging him all over the internet. People were saying she can wear what she wants. She makes more money than you. This, that, etc, etc. Saying that he's jealous. Because of all this backlash and people like literally digging into his past. Finding out that he's a conservative, that he um, used to slut shame or something like that. Just people doing the most. And that's because of what he did. That's what happens when you're a public figure, right? People are going to dig through everything to find something on you. He ends up saying this. We live in a generation where a man of the family doesn't want the wife and mother to his kids to showcase booty cheeks to please others. And he gets told how much of a hater he is. This is my family and my representation. I have standards and morals to what I believe. I rest my case. Where he definitely didn't have those morals and values when he posted this. <laughs> Y'all see this? Y'all see this work. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so basically when a man does this, he's usually showing it off. He's proud. He's proud of his girl loving his girl's body. So he's doing what most men do, which is show off, which he's doing all over social media, right? Obviously this outfit is very different from the cheeks out, but you can see it moving and clapping. So we can't say this is a moral thing. Really what it is, what I think, this is my opinion. I think he's mad because Kiki was being Kiki all over Asha, man. She was gushing. Check this out. <laughs> Look at that. See, that's where she messed up. Not only is she wearing an outfit with her cheeks out, but she's all over Asha. G gushing. She's just gushing <laughs> over another man. Now, that's embarrassing. That's so embarrassing. I would hate it if I'm in a relationship with someone and I see them like this over another person. I don't care if you fangirling, fanboying, you better be doing that to me when I walk in the house. You better be like, oh my god! So I completely understand why he's jealous. Just like how I am jealous that you didn't like my video, but you like the other person's video you were just work watching. Keep watching. Oh. I don't want to get copyrighted, so... Okay, now she's singing into the microphone. <laughs> Look at She's so cute though. <laughs> She's so cute. Look at her. Oh my god. She's
fun for him. <gasps> Look at him looking down. Oh. <laughs> this is bad. This is so embarrassing. I feel so bad for her boyfriend. Why would you do that? <laughs> on TV. Oh, no, is this TV? No, this is on Instagram, right? Someone's like, look at your boyfriend. I met your girlfriend. You better come slide in my DMs now. Look what she's doing. She's shaking her cheeks in front of Usher. Mm-mm. Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Look, <laughs> she's gushing. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> She's, this is so embarrassing. Like, I can't imagine how angry. She ends up responding, and this is what she posted. She posted on her Instagram that outfit. <laughs> and she goes, I wish I had taken more pictures, but we are running late. I'm telling y'all right now, if you haven't seen Usher, you must go. He was so fabulous, giving Theater Atlanta down tips and tricks, and just absolutely iconic. I was truly inspired as a performer. I whooped some A in spades too. Where is that pick of us together? The king himself. Oh my God. Now she's praising another man and nothing wrong with that. She's praising the man for his talents and stuff like that. But after this, I want everything. <laughs> she like, I'm single now. This is my wedding ring. <laughs> From the looks of it, Kiki doesn't seem to be that person to address this type of stuff publicly. And that's a lesson that her boyfriend or husband should have learned. He should have learned to never post that on social media and instead communicate to her how he felt. I'm sure people were rubbing it in his face too, probably calling him a simp or some ish. But check this out. This definitely proves how Kiki communicates in the relationship. And, and what happens if you ever had a Summer Walker situation with me? Some girl was just like, yo. Uh oh. Just, just so you know. She was wearing like my <laughs> Eagles jersey. She's not even getting on the line with me. She not, I'm not talking to no ID. I don't care to be standing next to you in a picture. My name, I'm blind. <laughs> I'm Stevie Wonder to the bullshit. And whatever that we going through, it's, we talking about that in the closet. Like, we uh. ain't nobody, like, it's on some, like, he's got a twin brother. Uh. <laughs> like, I'm not discussing but that. But then how are you going to react when people bring it to you? I saw your man or I saw that. You know, people... And I saw your man. <laughs> I didn't want to bring it up, but since we're bringing it up, have you checked with him? <laughs> he should have gave her the same respect and messaged her privately instead of doing this so publicly. Like, that's awkward. But saying that, what she did is, it's embarrassing, man. You let a man put his arm around your back. Just that soft spot. Like, he need to be honest, and that's why he upset. He not upset with the outfit. Okay, maybe the outfit and this combined together I can imagine this man boiling up inside. Like, I would be so jealous. So mad. Okay, don't tell me you try to act. If a lady went up to your husband or boyfriend like this, up on his body, or uh, if Rihanna did that to your boyfriend, okay, some of you ladies be like, can I join? But let's say he went to some music event without you and did that. You will get so mad. But at the end of the day, communication is key, and he should have kept that in the DMs. He's deactivated his Twitter, his Instagram, because he's been dragged all over social media. He, you know, he can't handle the key, get out of the kitchen. And he couldn't handle the key, the heat, and he, he marathoned out of the damn kitchen.